So I figured I'd share a quick little tip with you. I'm here in Arkansas for Christmas at my sister's uh, place and they've got a lot of pine and stuff down here that we don't have in Texas. You'll, walk, you'll be walking along and you'll notice that uh, you'll see these dead these dead trees that are buried with all the, the pine boughs and all that and they've got this greenish tint to them. If you've ever gone to pick one of these things up, you'll see that they're still really, really heavy. Well, it's because of these dead pines that have that have fallen and sitting here for a while. Uh, a lot of the outside of them have rotted off, but the center of them with all the resins in them will be preserved. So once you cut into them, you'll see that it's some really, really good fat wood and a really heavy piece of pine. So thought I'd share that quick tip with you if you're looking for fat wood and you're in an area that has it. You don't necessarily have to just collect from the branches that are at the, uh, the bottoms of living pine trees. You can actually get a lot more resin with these because the, uh, the outside is rotted off and you're just getting the center most times of the, uh, of the tree with all the resins and stuff in there. Alright, have a good one. Remember, get outside and enjoy the woods.